So we already seen hash tables and in this session as I told you I will see dictionary. So you can see hash table is from system.collection. So we are uh, working on countermeasures and that is dictionary. So instead of this hash table, so see what is the problem in hash table? First one is you know all the key and the values are of object data type, right? See here. This is of it is of object key and object value. So we are passing object data type here. So this is a somehow uh, you know type safe problem. And another problem is basically uh, the in the output if you see here it's random, complete random you are getting here, right? So to deal the to deal with these problem we are having a dictionary. So let's implement that. <clears throat> I have dictionary and then in these braces I need to pass my t key and t value here see what it needs it needs t key and t value that means type key and type value so let's say my key is somehow I want that my that my key is in the form of a string so that I can pass name name and then department and then location and somehow these things right so I'm gonna pass this string string data type and another one is object so object uh, sorry it needs another value right so uh, I'll say object data type for my value because I am passing somehow uh, you know integer value then I'm, and then in some uh, elements I need to pass uh, string in some elements I need to pass a float right so that's why I had taken object data type and then I'll create the object of dictionary dt equals to new dictionary string object and I'll just say that it's the same syntax as hash table you are creating right just you are passing the you know uh, data types here okay the same way you need to add these things so dt dot add so you see now the difference is what it says it says it needs a string key and object value it's not saying object key and object value see if you are changing here object to integer then here you will see that then in add method it needs a string key and int value right so that's why it is type safe right now the requirement is for object so I'll just pass the object okay now dt dot add I'll say first one is I think I had a name and then uh, name and then I'll say John I think that was the entry uh, dt dot dt dot add and the second entry was I think was age and it was 32 let me just copy this let me just paste it and paste it so I has a name and then I think it has a phone number I'll say 43 whatever the entry you want to put then uh, apart from that I think I had a department department and I will say computer right that's the thing now dt dot add the last entry was I think it was location oh yeah city and I'll say Mumbai I think these are the entries we had seen right in the hash table and the same entry we are providing over here now just like you know printing you are printing the uh, hash table it's the same thing instead of ht I'll just say dt and here also I'll pass the dt that's it now if you run this basically first first thing what you will observe that it is of string key and this is of object type right so this is object and this is string that's type safe right the second thing you will see that it will it will exactly give me the give me the output as it is written so john 321432 computer and mobile it will not give me any random value right in the in the case of hash table we had seen this right so uh, with the help of dictionary you can you know you can output your uh, this this elements in a sequence order so see here see what is the sequence john 3212432 computer and mobile same you know it's the it's coming in sequence it's not coming in like random so that's the advantage of dictionary and we had seen this i hope you understand it and thank you so much